Pastor Trish, I'm a few minutes past my usual time this evening. It's because we were actually enjoying supper together, and that doesn't always happen very often at our house. So um, excuse me for that. I'm hoping you have either enjoyed supper or will be soon having a meal for yourself as well. Uh, it's uh, one of those things to be thankful for, isn't it? We do have food. We maybe couldn't go to the grocery store in the last week or so and get everything that we wanted. Some of us are still waiting for toilet paper. Mm -hmm. But we have what we need, and God promises to give us what we need. That is one of the things we ask for every day, is it not? Give us this day our daily bread. And uh, God has been doing that. And so I am grateful for that, and I hope that you are as well. I need to find a pen, just a minute, to remind me of something that I wanted to tell you. So I'm going to save that for later, but I got to make myself a note. I wanted to bring you another psalm of lament this evening. I did that last night, and I want to bring you another one, again, because this is the time when we can tell God how it is we're feeling and let God know um, those difficult feelings that we are having. I think that this psalm, it's Psalm 55, and I think it speaks especially to the anxiety that I think many, if not all of us, probably have as we wonder what tomorrow will bring, what next week will bring, what next month is going to bring. And so it is uh, normal that we would feel anxious, especially as we pay close attention and watch a lot of news and do things that maybe aren't good for us. I don't know. But uh, it's, it's normal for us to be anxious. And so I think this psalm speaks to that in a little bit. And um, or in a little in a little way, and then offers us as well always that assurance that God is here, God hears us, and God is helping us. So Psalm 55 and its selected verses, and it comes from the message, which is uh, an adapted translation by Eugene Peterson. Open your ears, God, to my prayer. Don't pretend you don't hear me knocking. Come close and whisper your answer. I really need you. I shudder at the mean voice, quail before the evil eye as they pile on the guilt, stockpile angry slander. My insides are turned inside out. Specters of death have me down. I shake with fear. I shudder from head to foot. Who will give me wings, I ask, wings like a dove. Get me out of here on dove wings. I want some peace and quiet. I want a walk in the country. I want a cabin in the woods. I'm desperate for a change from rage and stormy weather. I call to God. God will help me. At dusk, dawn, and noon, I sigh deep sighs. He hears, he rescues. My life is well and whole secure even in the middle of danger. So pile your troubles on God's shoulder. He'll carry your load, he'll help you out. He'll never let good people topple into ruin. And together we say, I trust in you, O oh God. I trust in you. May those words bring you that confidence that God wants all of us to have knowing that he indeed will help us out, is helping us out even as we speak. Our prayer requests for this evening, I will invite you again to join me in prayer as you lift up names of people that you know and uh, people that you are concerned about. And, uh, and I will continue to bring you some of the names off of our uh, list here at Messiah as well. So let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this day, for opportunities that perhaps came to us today, for connections that we could make, either by phone or uh, across uh, computers. We give thanks for those in our household whom we can still see and, and be with. We give thanks for the sunshine that came. 
We give thanks for our leaders and public servants and health professionals and all the other essential employees who are continuing to work hard to bring us what it is we need. And we give you thanks that you have given us for today our daily bread. Help us to remember that this is enough for today and that when tomorrow comes, you will be with us again and give us what it is that we need for tomorrow. Tonight, we lift up those who we are concerned about, those we love and care for, those who have needs that you know about God, that you understand, and we just lift them to you, placing them in your hands, in your love and care. We pray especially for Pat and Brandy, Gary and Rosie and Craig and Randall, Tanya and Jess, Dan and Patrice, Mike and Marion, Darren and Earl, Karen and Randy, and others we now name. Be with them. Be with those especially who are dealing with medical issues that are not uh, COVID-19 related, who are still finding their medical care impacted in ways that are at some times difficult. Be with them as well. These people, these things, this situation, we just lift it up and give it over to you, trusting in your goodness and your mercy, knowing that you will continue to be with us and continue to walk with us in all of this time. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I already told you I was thankful this evening for a good meal, for supper together as a family. I was also thankful for the sunshine that came today and uh, thankful for work to do, connections that I was able to make, looking forward to more tomorrow, all sorts of things I can be thankful for and I hope that you can find ways to be thankful as well. One of the things, a couple of things I wanted to pass on to you before I leave you for the evening, um, as I think about tomorrow, I am hoping, I gotta get it on my calendar here, uh, saw and email that came from our presiding bishop of the ELCA, Elizabeth e. The Our church has joined with the Catholic uh, church, worldwide church, Lutheran World Federation, and I'm not sure who else, that we will gather tomorrow at noon, uh, at whatever our local time of noon is. So noon for us here in Minnesota, and uh, pray together the Lord's Prayer. Uh, maybe it's a good way for us to close together tonight as well. And then I will hopefully remember to hop on Facebook tomorrow at noon and invite you to join with me and with the whole world as we pray for God to give us our daily bread and to pray for um, God's will to be done here on earth just as it is in heaven and all the other parts of the Lord's Prayer. And then tomorrow night at 6 p.m., I invite you to join us again. Intern Pastor Janet will be leading us in our Wednesday evening worship and uh, will offer us a time of prayer and meditation again. So that'll be happening at 6 tomorrow night. Um, please join her and I. And if you happen to be a Messiah Middle School student or parent of, hopefully you got my email today, that we're going to do some Zoom together and just check in for a little while tomorrow night and see each other's faces. With that, I uh, bid you all a good night. I hope that you are well, and I hope that you are remembering you are indeed blessed and beloved children of God. Good night.